Hey, and welcome back to another H1 product reviews. And today, we're looking at Belkin's new Boost Up Wireless Charging Stand. Let's see if it's any good. All right, so as I mentioned, here is Belkin's new 10 watt wireless charging pad. So as you can see, Boost Up Wireless Charging Stand. Excuse me, not the pad, the stand. Um, I have the pad here at home as well. Um, this is the new stand model and what I like about this is that you can actually stand the phone up so there's a little side here that you can stand as well as flip it and then also charge it horizontally. Uh, this is a newer product here by Belkin. Uh, Belkin works with Apple to make sure every single one of their products works well and is made for Apple. So as you can see here, they have all the kind of standards here, the 10 watt wireless charging and all the Apple phones here. Uh, again, as I mentioned, they work exclusively with Apple to make sure the to make sure the charging standards are what Apple wants. Okay, so looking at this device, this isn't anything really new. Um, Amazon has a bunch of these kind of uh, wireless charging stands and pads of their own and they're significantly cheaper. This uh, Belkin wireless stand cost me $70. <laughs> yeah, 70 bucks for this thing. So you're not going to get um, anything more than what the regular charging standards are. The only difference, like I mentioned before, is that Belkin is a trusted partner with Apple. Um, aside from that, it'll charge your phone wirelessly just like any of the other ones. Um, they are claiming the boost up to 10 watts. Now, the newer iPhone XS is rated to charge a bit faster wirelessly. Um, whether or not that's true for this, I'm not sure because as you can see here, the only model indicated is the iPhone X. So the boost up might only be for the uh, Galaxy phone models here. So here you can see charge faster in landscape or portrait mode with the wireless charger engineered for any uh, Qi enabled smartphone. So this is actually pronounced Qi, so it's a Qi wireless smartphone charger. So there is an LED indicator that indicates status. Uh, it charges through most cases up to three millimeters. And it does include an AC adapter. Uh, unfortunately, what I've noticed from the Belkin ones is it's its own um, regular AC adapter and not like a USB plug, which a lot of the other Amazon uh, wireless charging cases have. And then here's just kind of what they show in terms of the faster universal charging. A lot of other chargers do 5 to 10 watts. This one can go all the way up to 10 watts. All right, let's open it up. So I've only actually seen the white models available for this uh, wireless charger. I've never actually seen any of the uh, black ones. So this is kind of interesting to check out. All right, so here's the box. Let's take it out. So really nice. Um, one thing I will say right out of the bat, it does feel really premium. It's kind of in this little insert. The packaging looks really nice and it's even got like a little sticky tape thing so it all sticks to the box so it doesn't fall out. And this is the charging pad, little Belkin logo there. You know, it's relatively small, it's very lightweight. So that's what it'll look like on your desk. And then I have an iPhone XS here, so you can put the phone like this to charge or drop it in like that. Now it's not plugged in, so it's not getting a charge. So let's go ahead and pull out the AC adapter. Hmm. So here are instructions, basically tell you what to do, what not to do but I don't think we'll need all of this. And then the charging brick. So as you can see, this is kind of one of those super long bricks that's really annoying, uh, but I suppose you need it for that 10 watt power. I'm more of a fan of the power banks that use the USB plug-in, but what can you do? So one thing I'll note is the tie here is actually really nice. It's kind of a higher quality material. It's more of like a rubber band. So that's really cool. And then here's kind of a bummer. It looks like it uses Belkin's, I don't know if it's a Belkin only standard, but it's definitely, not a USB-C or a micro USB connector. So uh, yeah, make sure you don't lose this, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna be kind of in some pain. All right, so it's pretty long. So the cable is five feet long. Uh, plenty long, depending on where you wanna put it. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is just connect it underneath the desk and then see how it works. Be right back. All right, so now we're back and now let's kind of check out this charger. So the plug goes right here in the back. Plug that in. I guess you could plug it in over it, not under it, right? Because then you get stuck. Okay, plug it in. And then like I said, I've got my iPhone XS Max. Let's see how that fits. There it goes, charges right away. Let's take it out. That's the stand. No issues, just kind of grab it. You can even just kind of drop it in, no worries, and it keeps charging. Take it out, drop it back in. 
no issues whatsoever. And if you can see, here's the little light on the side. So I'll put the phone in so you can see the light light up. I don't know, right now this light isn't showing very bright here. I'm gonna turn the dimmer off. I'm gonna turn my light off just so you can kind of get a look at it. So see, there's the light. It doesn't look terribly bright. Um, however, at nighttime, I can't confirm whether or not this light will be blinding you. But yeah, you know, it's a nice little charger. It's a good size. This has kind of a really soft touch. I don't know, plastic or, yeah, I guess it's a plasticky, really soft plastic touch. Um, and then you kind of got hard plastic shiny on the back. Uh, I really dig this stand. I mean, I guess you kind of get what you pay for, but does this deserve to be $70? Absolutely not. Um, you're really just kind of paying for the aesthetic and for the name because they work with Apple. Uh, would I recommend this? No, just because you can get much cheaper options available on Amazon. However, just to note, those aren't, a lot of the cheaper models don't guarantee to work with Apple. And you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, if I spend, you know, $1,500 or whatever on a smartphone, I'm going to pay the extra money to ensure that the battery is also going to be well taken care of and working with Vulcan and Apple, you know, that's definitely a guarantee. So, you know, spending all this money on a phone. Yeah, definitely make sure you get the nice wireless charger. Uh, do I recommend this if you're just like, ah, eh, screw it. I upgrade my phone once every year with Apple's upgrade program. The battery life isn't so much of a big deal. Well, then go ahead, go on Amazon and get one of their cheaper options. It's going to charge your phone wirelessly. It'll work. It's the Qi standard, so that basically means that anybody can use it. So now I'm just going to grab the wireless charging pad from Belkin and just do a quick little comparison. All right, and I, I went ahead and brought the uh, wireless charging pad from Belkin just to kind of show the differences. Both of these cost roughly the same, and uh, they both use a similar front end plug, but as you can see, since this is a circle and they kind of work it to make it kind of flush, you won't be able to plug that into here. This fit is exactly so it fits in here. Can't really reuse them. But just wanted to compare the size here. Um, so the pad obviously is significantly larger. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this that I think I'm going to like about this is you really have to set your phone down almost perfectly wireless charging stand in order for it to really find it. Like I often find myself putting it down and going, oh wait, it's there and then it'll start to charge. Um, that can be really annoying. I've definitely woken up a couple times with my phone either dead or about to die because I didn't set it on the pad just right. And this is a Belkin wireless charger. So it's, you know, they work with Apple to kind of bring the best. So that goes to show you that you really have to be really careful with where you plug it in. Whereas this, I mean, you know, you can just kind of put your phone there and there it goes. You know, it's, it's significantly easier to just kind of drop it in and charge. So of the two, do I recommend? Definitely recommend this one. Uh, like I said, if you're gonna spend the money, get this one, the wireless charging stand. Um, to be fair, I don't even know if they make the wireless charging pad anymore. This is so much more of a better alternative than the pad. That does it for another HU1 product review. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, bye.